today's videos is as promised going to be how to mount how to properly mount a wire wheel I've had a lot of people ask me this question want me to show videos of how you uh, put your knockoff on the car so that's what's going on today I'm going to uh, put my 13's back on my cutlass so today's video will be uh, how to mount a 13 inch well today's video will be how to mount a wire wheel on your car the right okay, way this is the basic stuff this is the basic things you're going to need when trying to install a knockoff wire wheel uh, definitely need a jack definitely need a jack stand for safety uh, I'm using an impact gun just because but you can still do it with a four-way actually I prefer a four-way uh, that's the key <clears throat> to getting these wheels on now let me talk about the wire wheel for a second and roll this over here uh, over the years uh, knockoff wire wheel has had a very bad reputation some people say oh I don't like knockoffs because they are known to fall off the car or a lot of people have had their knockoffs falling off <clears throat> there's a few reasons why your knockoffs fall off your car but the main reason is you're not really mounted the right way there's a few steps to show how to there's a few things you have to do to mount these uh, wires on, wire wheels on the right way because it's a three-part wheel and I'll show you here in a second the most the most important thing that you need to mount a wire wheel on your car the right way is that right here this is what you call a lead hammer a lead hammer is designed to when you hit the spinner the hammer will bend and not the spinner and if you slip it won't chip your chrome so right now I'm just taking it off it's only on there hand tight so I'm just kinda uh, loosening it making it loose and taking it off of there <coughs> okay so a wire wheel consists of three pieces which I'm gonna take off now this is the spinner Okay, these are the three major pieces to the wire wheel. You got the main rim right here. <clears throat> you got the main rim right here. You got the adapter and you got the spinner. What's very important is the main, the first step of getting this on the right way is it's all on these adapters and spinners. <clears throat> if you always remember this, the red is on the right side and the white is on the left side which means there's uh, two red adapters and two white adapters right now I got the white adapter <clears throat> the white adapter always goes on the left side which the white adapter will always go on the driver's side of the vehicle that's where the white adapter goes it's very important to have the adapter on the right sp side and the right spinner because <clears throat> <clears throat> that's the key to getting all this on the right way now another important factor in doing this is this is the socket I'm going to use is your lug nuts these are the kind of lug nuts you want to use for this adapter and I'll show you why here in a second the lug nuts are also very important you always want to have open end lug nuts that are short not the tall nuts because you don't want nothing sticking past the stud or you're going to have problems now let me show you something real quick the wrong kind of lug nuts to use now check out these lug nuts on my El Camino if I were to try to use these lug nuts 
on my wire wheels then most likely they wouldn't work all, they wouldn't work right and the wheel would probably fall off the car so these are not the type of lug nuts you want to use uh, because they're closed in even though they're short some people have the closed in tall ones you don't want to use these type of lug nuts you want to use the basically the simple uh, <clears throat> the simple basic lug nut Okay, you want to use a simple basic lug nut like this. Okay? As you take a closer look at this, and it's a little dirty still, but you know, they're used very old, worn out rims, what do you expect? But that, the adapter goes onto the rim and gets locked on by the teeth. It's almost like a gear that holds it in place. And that's what all holds it in place. Now what you have here is the adapter's on, and it's everything's ready to go uh, with the adapter. Now at this point, all you need to do is lift your wheel and slide it onto the adapter. Here we go. Lifting the wheel, sliding it onto the adapter. Now, once you got your rim locked in place, okay, do you get it? The adapter and the spinner hook on pretty much like that, and you spin on. The adapter was what goes on the car. The rim goes onto the adapter, and the spinner holds everything on position. I know it's a scary thought uh, having the spinner hold the whole rim on, but if done properly, you should be fine. Uh, cars started out back in the day with these same design wheels on old school Jaguars, and a lot of the racing uh, vehicles had these three-piece uh, knockoff design. <clears throat> and another aspect of this right here, this is a big glob of uh, grease and uh, what you're supposed to do is before you put this all on you grease the inner part of your threads of your spinner and you also grease the outer uh, the adapter, you also grease the adapter, the threaded part of the adapter and once you get it to that point, you just gotta take your spinner and it has a little arrow on it says which direction to go for on. And you just put it on there and tighten it down. Okay. Now this is another key uh, important part to this. As I said earlier, if you don't put grease on the threaded part of your adapter, 
when it's time to take this off, you're going to have problems. Um, another key element where people rims fall off because they don't get this uh, spinner on right. That's why it's important to use a lead hammer and not a rubber mallet because the rubber mallet ain't going to be able to knock it on there uh, in the right manner. So what you want to do is basically uh, beat the rim on with the lead hammer. I'm sorry, beat the spinner onto the rim in the on direction. All right, and once you get it on the ground, we gotta hit it harder than that. But once you get it on the ground, you hit it some more and make sure it's tight for real. Okay, now I'm going to let the car down and uh, give it a few more wax. I basically hit that on there with the lead hammer so it wouldn't turn no more. And uh, you're pretty much done. And I'll tape this in once I get it back on the ground. There you have it, the last ram on the last car. On the last ram for the car. I'm gonna drop it down off the jack stand. Start bringing these tools in.